today I will be filming a DIY and I hope you guys enjoy it. It will be DIY coasters and uh, right now I'm recording outside as you can tell but um, the rest is of course inside. And I hope you guys enjoy some cute little Valentine kind of coaster things. Um, like I've said before, not all my DIYs will be my original idea. This one I actually got from Joe Conza. You can go check him out if you want. Uh, he is one of the YouTubers I personally enjoy watching. I really, really like this DIY, so I thought I'd share it. And I know I look like crap right now. Uh, it's I basically just got up, so I haven't felt like doing anything yet. But I thought I'd record this real quick. So please go, uh, please continue watching this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, I mean, just 10 likes on this video would be cool. I don't think any of my videos have 10 likes. I know some of them have a, a good bit of views, but like, no one seems to like a comment. So please like this video, give it a big thumbs up, go comment down below, tell me if you did this DIY, if you like this DIY, what you'd like to see me do next, all of that good stuff. Um, if you do do this DIY, please share with me on Instagram and Twitter, which you can, which will be down in the description below. Like I said, I basically just got up, so I know like nothing that I'm saying. <laughs> But um, that they will be down in the description below as long with uh, as long as what <laughs> along with in the end of this video and right here on the screen as well, along with my Snapchat. Please also share with me on Snapchat. And um, I think that's all. So let's get into the video. Say it loud. I'm face the fire. Okay, so. My recording messed up just like I was doing with the previous DIY. So I flipped this over so I'm on the back and I took a pencil which I forgot to mention you will need. I'm sorry. And I sketched down her heart. You can do any shape you want. So you can do like a circle for an emoji if you like. Or something for like Starbucks or something. This is just what I chose. And the next step is to actually take the knife and go along this line and cut it out. And uh, well, I'll explain the rest then. So be right back. Okay, so I have all the cook, extra cook food removed. Um, I did take my scissors and throw them. <laughs> did take my scissors and go through and cut off like the last one or two layers that was left on in random spots. And took the knife and almost stabbed myself. Took the knife and went around the edges some. It's not perfect, but it's really nice. I have my pink paint right here because that's going to be my pink's color. And that is going to be the first color I put on. I have a good bit. I'm just going to get a good bit on my brush and kind of smear it on like so. And I should probably hold it down, but you know. Also, as you can see, there will be parts where the paint doesn't go into the cookbird. So I will just go in and like tap paint into it and accidentally get paint on the floor multiple times. I have a mess to clean up. Hey, that's what happens when you do DIYs. You make messes. There's like no way around that. So I have a desk in my room covered in paint and nail polish and stuff. And again, just accidentally moved the heart around. Yay. So I'm just gonna go off camera and finish painting this and then I will come back once it is dry and we go on to the next step. So be right back. Okay, so this heart is mostly dry, dry enough for me to go on to the next step at least. So I decided I'd use it to show this next step up and maybe I'd go back to the pink one for the final step. Maybe I'd use this one again. But for this one, the other color I am using is actually black. As you can see, I should probably do another layer, but I don't know, I like how it looks. So I'm just gonna stick to this one layer coat thing. For the pink one, I might do two, depending on how it looks. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna get some black paint and set it up over here. Yep. And then take this and prop it up against my leg so I can also hold the camera because I do not have like cardstock or anything so I'm just going to paint this. It might be good if I use like fabric or something but I also don't have hot glue so I'm just going to kind of go around and paint this and I'll come back once it is done so be right back. 
Okay, so I went through and I painted all of the edges with black because I don't have like cardstock or anything. And I went all the way around. And I was going to use the Sharpie, but it wasn't working super well. So I just went back with pencil and drew this dripping kind of look. And I'm just going to take the black and I'm going to start at the top where there's like this big open space. And I don't have to pay super close attention to detail. So I'm just going to go through and paint all this. And I will show you what it looks like once it is all done and dry so be right back hey guys so i just wanted to real quick show you how it is after it has dried um the sides are like all red so probably cover that with like cardstock or some other material so when i can i probably will but uh, right now i can't so this is how it looks so i wanted to show you that and I have not finished the pink one, but I'll get that done. And if you would like to see how that one turns out, follow me on over on Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you would like to see me do next and other videos you would like to see. I think that just made no sense. And also please hit the subscribe button. Love you guys. Bye.